Yes, when he calls me, I'll be somewhere listening for my name. <clears throat> Amen. Isn't that something? It's just like when mom used to call us back in the day. We didn't answer. She said, did you hear what I said? I'm sorry I didn't hear you, Mom. Amen. But if you're somewhere listening when he calls, you can answer. Amen. It's a blessing when you know that God neither slumbers nor sleeps. And you can call him and he'll answer. What about when he calls you? Will you be somewhere listening for your name? <clears throat> we are to always to be ready, for we know not the day nor the hour when he shall come. Let's bow our heads in a word of prayer, most gracious and Heavenly Father, with a heart full of praise and thanks for your many wonderful blessings, great and small, and for the power of God, which is under salvation to all that believe. Thank you for Jesus, who came one day that we might live and not die, his grace enabling us to stand and withstand in this evil day. Father, we thank you for your loving arms of protection around about us and the hedge that you placed around about us <clears throat> protecting us day in and day out as we move here and there, in and out, back and forth, up and down. You said you will give your angel charge over us lest we dash our foot against the stone. And we know that the adversary is there seeking whom he may devour. And Father, you put a limitation on him. And when he is charged and he cannot he will not. So, Father, we thank you for all things, great and small. We ask that you will remember Sister Sarah yeah. in her downtown, <clears throat> that you will watch her, protect her, and touch her, dear Lord, from the yeah. crown of her head right on down to the sole of her feet. We thank you for touching Sister Brookie's body today and giving her the strength <clears throat> yeah. to rise up and be better. So, Father, you are still very much in tune with yeah. what we are, who we are, and who you are, the great I am. So, Father, we pray, dear Lord, that you will bless us during this 10 days of fasting and prayer, touching our bodies, healing us, filling us with your spirit and love, giving us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that we may have what is necessarily needed in order to impart unto others the ways that are pleasing and acceptable in thy sight. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, we do pray and for his sake. We thank you. Remember those in the hospital, convalescent home, jail houses, here, there, and everywhere, laying upon their sick bed, up and down the highways, back and forth. Brothers that's behind the wheel, yeah. watch over them and care for them, the company that is. <clears throat> up and down the road, here and there, back and forth, that you will bless in Jesus' name continuously, that we may be an example to all others of the ways that are pleasing and acceptable in the sight of the Almighty God. So, Father, we thank you. Now watch over us and care for us as we come to this portion of the service. Continue to feed us, that we may have the wisdom and the knowledge of your word that we can impart unto someone else the things that are pleasing and acceptable in thy sight. In the name of Jesus, we pray, and for his sake, we thank you. Together, let us all say amen. amen. Give an honor to God tonight and to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to the ministers of the gospel, to <clears throat> the digging, those that are tuning in tonight, we say good evening and may God bless you. For God is... Good, and his mercy endures to all generations. Truly, we thank God indeed for his, the 
principles and teachers, the doctors of Christ. Thank God for the man and the woman of God, all our life with Solomon Mishra and his companion, two beautiful people whom God fixed up with his word one day. Sent them into the world and they preached and taught the gospel that men, women, boys, and girls should live a life free from sin. We thank God for <clears throat> each and every one of you pressing your way out tonight and your testimonies, amen, that have gone up before the Lord of what God has done, how he does things. God is all right, church. So I say, God is all right, all right, all right. God is all right. <clears throat> amen. He touched me, the song says, and made me whole. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. When you're not feeling too well. When a man of God speaks, listen. <clears throat> Pay attention. And then carry out. The man of God told him, go down there and wash in that pool. Why he want to send me down in that dirty water? And if it wasn't for his servant saying, if he had bid you something, wouldn't you have done it? Something that was worthwhile or good, wouldn't you have done it yet? Well, go ahead on down there, so. He changed his mind and went down there and came out whole. Isn't that wonderful? As the sister said, <clears throat> the pastor told her, you can do it. She did it and amen. She got a testimony tonight. Isn't that wonderful? Give it a hand. <clears throat> amen. <clears throat> sister Brookie called me this morning and she wasn't feeling too well. Sorry to hear that, Sister Brookie. Stomach all upset. <clears throat> so prayed for her. I asked her, do you believe that God is able? Touch your body? Yes. Prayed for her. And just as soon as she finished, oh, Lord, my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. She began to throw up. So whatever was down in that tummy that she ate or whatever it was, it didn't agree with her. It was upset her stomach, and so she started throwing up. <clears throat> it reminded me of back in the 80s, I had, I was in the hospital visiting the sick, and my wife had reached out to me because she knew where I was going, and <clears throat> she had called me to tell me that my father had called and wanted me to come down to the emergency room because Ella Bryant, who was down running a revival, had taken sick. And so I <clears throat> finished up where I was and went down to the emergency room and he was there in excruciating pain. He was in terrible pain, and so I prayed for him and re asked him to repeat after me, O oh Lord, my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. Amen. And right after he uttered those words, he began to up chuck. So I left because I had to go to New York the next morning. <clears throat> Church, do you not know that when I got to New York and I decided, this was back in the 80s, I decided I'd go by the church since I had some downtime. <clears throat> and when I got there, I was approached by some. We heard about the prayer that you put on our pastor. It had gotten to New York already. <clears throat> the next day or so, it had gotten to New York. And he had asked, when he finished up chucking and going on, he was feeling better. He looked around, and he asked my dad, he said, where's that boy at? He said, that was a powerful prayer that he put on me. Where, where's that scripture found at that he had me to? And he'd been in the ministry for a long time. <clears throat> But he couldn't recollect where that scripture was. Oh, Lord, my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast. You see, everything that God does, he's done it 
years ago. Time is what brings these things to pass. And he knew, Sister Iris, that you would be having problems on that day. So he put that package on the shelf for you. And all you had to do was claim it. And you didn't have to pay for it because Jesus paid it all, all to him I owe. Sin has left a crimson stain, but he washed his white as snow. Jesus paid it all, all to him I owe. Sin has left a crimson stain, but he washed his white. Amen. You didn't have to pay. Just like getting to the counter, pick up a loaf of bread, get to the counter. You didn't have to pay. Amen. Why? Because Jesus already paid it. Amen. Isn't it something? He paid for your healing package on the shelf. So we thank God. <clears throat> so that was reminding me when Sister Brookie began to throw up. Right after. And she reminded me of it when I talked to her. And she said, you know, Granddad, right after you, we said, oh, Lord, my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast hid me. I began to throw up. I said, yeah, all that, whatever you was eating last night, <laughs> upset your stomach was coming up. <clears throat> and so she tried some chicken noodle soup today for the first time. Amen. And she says, I even ate the carrots. Wonderful, Sister Brooke. Wonderful. So the Lord had touched her body. <clears throat> so I talked to her and I told her, you need some chicken noodle soup. But I was busy, so when I got in, I asked my wife to go out and get some chicken noodle soup and get it to Brookie as soon as possible. Don't hesitate. Don't procrastinate. Go get it done as soon as possible. So she did. Sister Brookie was holding up her cup of Chicken noodle soup. That's some good soup, church. From Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A got some good soup. So truly, we thank God indeed for all things. I thank God for saving me one day and for giving me the mind, the desire, determination. Thank God for the 10 days of fasting and prayer. Thank God for each and every one of you pressing. And those that didn't make it in-house, at home, tuned in. It's a blessing to be in the service of the Lord. Truly we thank God indeed for the fast, the theme of the fast. God is in truth. God lives in truth. He liveth in truth. In judgment and in righteousness. Amen. Tonight I want to speak to you about emphasis being fixated. Fixated. It's F-I-X-A-T-E-D. You got to be just fixated on what's truth. Amen. So we want to draw emphasis on what's true. Amen. We want to place some emphasis on what's truth. Amen. Amen. Emphasis is stress laid on a word or words to indicate special meaning or particular importance. Particular importance. Amen. What's true? As Pilate had questioned Jesus, and Jesus laid out his life, and what are you supposed to do? And Pilate said, what is truth? And he went back out to his Jesus' accusers, and he says, I find no fault in this man. So he knew what was truth. There's nothing out of envy and jealousy they crucified him. Amen. Because he healed the sick, caused the lame to walk, the blind to see, the deaf to hear, and told them about the resurrection, and that just 
shook them up. Something about that resurrection of life shook them up. And it still shake up folks today. Yeah. Amen. Peter and John suffering because they were talking about, Paul talking about the resurrection got certain Jews and these folks upset. So tonight we want to talk to you about the emphasis that we want to place on what's true. Fixate is direct one's eyes toward. Amen. On having the thing mentioned as the main topic. Truth, truth, truth. What's truth? Amen. And the, what is defined as asking for information, specifying something. Truth is what we're talking about, church. Amen. Truth, judgment, and righteousness. God lives in this. Truth is a fact or belief that is accepted as true, is accepted as true. I know that Jesus lives because he lives within me. Amen. The life that I now live, as Paul says, I live by the faith of God, the Son of God who died and gave his life. I am come, Jesus said, that you might have life and that you might have it, what, more abundantly. So I know he lives. The brother played the song, because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Yeah. And life is where people run around here massing up and vaccining up. Amen. I am anti-mass and anti-vax. Amen. Amen. And guess what? I'm still safe. Sound and kept. Amen. Isn't that wonderful? That's truth, church. I'm a believer. Children sing the song, I'm a believer. I'm a believer. If you believe that God is, amen. Rise and stand upon your feet. Amen. You believe that God is? Amen. He is. Wherever you might be, you might be up in Chantilly somewhere. Get up and clap your hand because God is. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man cometh unto the Father, what? But by me. What is truth, Pilate asked. I find no fault in this man. So listen, turn your attention to the book of St. Matthews, the 17th chapter. <clears throat> Beginning at the very first verse, this is the Mount of Transfiguration. Because after six days, Jesus taketh Peter, James, and John, his brother, and bringeth him up into a high mountain apart, and was transfigured before them, and his face did shine as the sun, and his raiment was what? White. His raiment was white as the light. White as the light. Read. And behold, there appeared unto them Moses. There appeared unto them who? Moses. Moses, Elias, Elias, talking with him. Then answered Peter, said unto Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. Why? If thou wilt, if let, thou us make, wilt let us do what? Make here three tabernacles. Three tabernacles. One for thee, one for Moses, and one for who? Elias. Elias. And what happened? While he yet spake. Right away, we're talking about emphasis being placed upon. The truth tonight. And while he was uttering it out of his mouth, what happened? Behold, a bright cloud. A over bright the cloud. Read. And behold, a voice out of the cloud. Voice came out of that cloud saying what? He said, this is my beloved this son. This is my beloved son. What? In whom, In I, whom am well I am well pleased. pleased. What? Hear ye him. It's not Moses. Get your fixation off of Moses. Get it off of Elias. It's Jesus. Jesus. He is the one that is my only begotten son who willingly gave his life for the mm. sins of all mankind. Amen. Amen. Hear him. Hear him. Didn't say question him. He said hear him. Hear ye him. And watch this now, read. And when the disciples heard it. And when the disciples heard it, they, they fell, fell on, on their, their face. face and were so afraid. And the seventh verse says what? 
Jesus came and came and touched them and said, "What? Arise. Arise and what? Be not afraid. Don't be afraid. I'm the truth. Amen. Amen. You're being manifested. You're being told what is. Pilate asked, "What is truth? So listen, read. And when they had lifted up their eyes. I want you to notice something carefully now because I noticed something when I read this this evening. And when they what? Lifted up their eyes. And when they lifted up their eyes, watch this church, read. They saw no man save Jesus only. That's interesting. Stop and think now. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. After they got up, they didn't see nobody. Listen to this now. They didn't see nobody but who? Jesus. Only. Only. So they became convinced. <laughs> Their eyes then became fixated on the truth. Listen in St. John, 14th chapter. <clears throat> Thomas had asked him the question. Beginning at the very first verse of the 14th chapter, listen, listen to this. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house, there's what? Many mansions. Many mansions. If it were not so, what? I would have told you. I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you that what? And if I go and prepare a place And if I go you, to prepare a place, remember now, hear ye who? Him. him. And when they got up, they didn't see nobody but Jesus mm. only. only. That's right. They didn't see Elias no more. They didn't see Moses no more. They only saw Jesus. Amen. So let not your heart be troubled, Jesus said. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house of many mansions, if it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for who? You. And if I go and prepare a place for you, what will happen? I will come again. I will come again. The truth said this. That's right. Fixate your attention on the truth. Yes. Pay attention to the words coming. You heard the sister say, the pastor told her, you can do it. You can do it. That's right. She believed that she could do it, and she did it. She did it. That's right. Made up mind. Amen. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder, you know, where these words come from. They come from above. Come from God. Amen. And what I gave her was what she needed at that at particular that time. time. You know, sometimes people become, my son David said, whenever you do for someone that can do for themselves, you create a handicap. handicap. That's right. You can do it. You'll be all right, Amen. sister. You can do it. All right. That's what she said. All right. And lo and behold, she did it. my Jesus came by. Praise God. My yeah. Jesus came by. He heard my plea and he answered my cry. He saved my sin, sick soul, and what? Made me whole. My Jesus. Mom wrote that song years ago. Mm. So listen. Read. And if I go and prepare a place for you, what? I will come again Read. and receive you unto myself. Read. That where I am, there ye may be also. Read. And whether I go, ye know. And what? In the way you know. Thomas said unto him, What? Lord, we know not whether thou goest. And what? And how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, What? I am the way. I want you to know, Thomas, that what? I am the way. I am the way. Read. The truth. The truth. What? And the life. And the life. Read. No man cometh unto you the Father. You can not get to God. But by me. You got to come by me. That's the truth. Amen. That's the truth. In St. John, <clears throat> the third chapter, listen to this. <clears throat> Nicodemus, who was a ruler of the Jews, then come to Jesus while he was in the temple preaching or talking. He came by night. <clears throat> Amen. Yeah, he, on in. he came by night because he didn't want the rest of them to see him mm. conversing with Jesus. That's right. First verse says what? <clears throat> there was a man of the 
of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, Rick. a ruler of the Jews. Rick. The same came to Jesus by night. By night. And said unto him, Rabbi. Rabbi, we, we know, know that thou art a teacher come from God. For what? No man can do these miracles that, that thou, thou doest except God be with him. Read. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, verily I say. See, you're thinking about one thing, but the right. thing that you need to draw emphasis on is the truth. That's Watch right. this now. Read. Verily, verily, I say unto verily, you. Verily, I say unto you what? Except a man be except born again. A man be born again. He cannot see the kingdom of God. You won't be able to see this thing. Amen. Amen. It's spiritually discerned, Brother Christopher. It's spiritually discerned. Amen. Unless you've been born again, you can't see it. Can't see it. Because it's spiritually discerned. Read. Nicodemus saith unto him, Nicodemus said unto him, What? How can a man be born? How can a man be born again when he is old? You see what I'm saying? He couldn't see this. Mm -hmm. yep. You telling me I need to be born again? How can a man be born again when he is old? Shh. Read. Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? You mean to tell me he's a go into the mother's womb a second time? <laughs> Didn't understand. All this abortion going on nowadays. Mm. Ain't that something? Mm. And be born. Jesus answered him, said what? Verily, verily, I say unto thee. Verily, verily, I say unto you what? Except a man be born of Except water. Except the man be born of the what? Water. Of the water and of the and what? Of the spirit. How's that spirit spelled? Capital S. With a capital S, meaning the Holy Ghost is essential, church. Amen. You must be born again. That's right. Of the water and of the spirit. He and cannot enter into the kingdom of God. You see, God's kingdom is holy. That's right. And that he's not going to accept anything in the kingdom. What did Jesus tell Thomas? I am the way, I am the, way. the truth, and the life. life. Amen. No man can get unto the Father, what? But by, but by me. me. And if you try to climb up some other way, you're the same as a thief and a robber. Amen. Listen, read. That which is born of the flesh that is That which flesh. is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which Amen. is born of the spirit is what? Spirit. You've got to have the Holy Ghost. Read. Amen. Marvel not that I said unto thee, you must be born again. Read. The wind bloweth where it listeth. And what? And thou hearest the sound thereof, but Read. canest not tell whence it cometh. Read. And where they goeth. All right. So is everyone. You don't. You, when, you, when you feel that wind, you don't know where it's coming from, and you don't know where that wind is going. Mm -hmm. It might seem like it's going, and then you look out there, and here it is moving in another direction. You don't know where it's going. God directs the wind. That's right. Same thing about being those that are born again. Mm -hmm. One of the preachers came to me one or brother, brother, I want to know where you get the authority from to rebuke us preachers. <laughs> I pointed up like that. He just shook his head and walked off. <laughs> oh, Mark. Like Elder Taylor said, you take that book and jam them. He said they'll run like a turkey. <laughs> Hey man, run like a tail. Taylor was a hunter. Mm. He loved the hunt. <clears throat> I was sharing this with Diggin Keith the other day of how that <clears throat> is so very important for the people of God and the minister of the gospel to be available mm -hmm. when people have a need. Hey Amen. You know, I'm working, moving around about and whatnot there. They called, here I was asleep, late at night. People suffering all kinds of times of the day, That's all right. in the middle of the night. Am I right, Sister Marshall? Way in the midnight hour, suffering. And they reach out. And you're supposed to be available. All right. Amen. El Taylor loved to hunt. See, back in that day, they didn't have cell phones. When you was out there hunting, sometimes he'd stay out there all day. And if somebody needed him, need the pastor to pray for him, they couldn't get him. Why? Because he out there hunting. <laughs> so the Lord afflicted his body. Mm -hmm. 
Apostle Paul had an affliction. He besought the Lord thrice, thrice. to move it. move it. And he came to the conclusion that my grace, Jesus said, my grace is sufficient for sufficient. you. That's right. So even though he was afflicted in body, he still was able to preach the gospel. Mm -hmm. Same thing with Elder Taylor. There's one thing the Lord didn't do. Didn't hold his tongue. He couldn't get out there and hunt no more. But he could still preach the gospel. Amen. And I tell you, that man could preach more gospel laying on his back than most preachers I've seen in the pulpit. Mm. And he taught me. I used to go sit down by his bedside. And he'd be laying there resting, and I'd go there. And sometimes we'd go out to the hospital, visit and whatnot. It was, it was something to see this man work. I used to watch, um, just <clears throat> admire how he would deal with people in the hospital and praying for them and the words that he would give. And he always, always gave them a little change. And he would tell them, say, get yourself some ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> Cause you know all folks love ice cream. Amen. And he would teach me from the word. He would lay there with his eyes closed and say, read such and such and such a scripture, read such and such. I'd ask him certain things, and he'd be laying there. He said, read such and such and such. And I would be reading here. I'm a young inspired in the gospel. I'm reading, and I misspell. He said, whoa, 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 wait a minute. He said, go back and read that again. He got his eyes closed. Go back and read that again. I go back and read it again, and I'll catch the mistake I made. And when I read it right, he said, I thought that's what it said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But he was a miraculous Minister of the gospel. Yes. Amen. So listen, read. Nicodemus Answer, answered and said unto him, How can these things How be? How can these things be? Read. Jesus answered and said unto him, Art thou a master Aren't of Israel? Aren't you a master of Israel and knowest knows not, not these, these things? things? Verily, verily, I say unto you what? We speak that we, we do know. We speak that we do know and testify, testify that we have seen and what? You receive not our witness. You need to fixate on the truth. That's right. Amen. Amen. You need to fixate. We need to draw emphasis on how important it is to believe on the truth. Amen. God spoke to them out of that cloud. That's this right. is my beloved son in whom I am. It is not Moses. It is not Elias. It is Jesus. Amen. And it shook them up and they fell down. Mm. And Jesus had to come along and wake them up. Yes, be not be afraid. afraid. Amen. And when they open their eyes, they didn't see nobody else. See, when they open their eyes spiritually, mm -hmm. they came to the understanding that we should fixate on who? Jesus. Amen. Focus on him and That's him right. alone. Amen. So read that again, brother. Verily I say unto thee, what? we speak that we do know. And what? We testify that we have seen. And what? And you receive not our witness. If I have told you earthly things and you believe not, how shall you believe if I tell you of what? Heavenly things. Heavenly things. Read. And no man hath ascended and up no to heaven. And no man have ascended up to heaven, but what? He that came, he down, that from came down from heaven, even the Son of Man, which is what? In, in heaven. Isn't that something, church? Not only was he on earth, but he was also in heaven. Yes. All at the same time. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he said, me and my father are one. one. Huh? Amen. If you see me, you've seen the father. If you've seen the father, you, see, you don't see the father. But if you've seen me, you've seen the father. Amen. Because I've come in his stead. In church, he did a wonderful, magnificent yes, job. So listen, in conclusion, in the 17th chapter of the book of Acts, see if we can't finish up here. The Apostle Paul is <clears throat> dealing with some folks that want to disappoint, disagree, mm -hmm. and argue about the resurrection. Here we go again, Jesus. He talking about Jesus. And when you're talking about resurrection, it, it seemed to upset certain folks. And so Paul, in the 22nd verse, he was dealing with the people at Athens, amen. Strange things they were saying 
Well, we never heard these things before. But these were individuals that would study, check things out. And they were superstitious. Mm -hmm. You know, people are superstitious today. That's right. Amen. I deal with a bunch of coaches back in the day. And if you drove them and they won, they want you to drive them again. Superstitious. If they wear mm. a pair of socks and they win, they're going to wear them socks until they lose. Yeah. I had my black hat that I always wear. Mm -hmm. Went in the game. Coach decided he was in a big, tough game. He went out and bought him a hat like mine. Lost the game. Came in there and took the hat and threw it up into the luggage compartment. <laughs> superstitious. So in the 22nd verse, then Paul stood in the midst of Mars Hills and said that in what? You men of Athens. You men of Athens, I proceed. I've come to the understanding that what? In all things. All things that you are what? You're too superstitious. Superstitious. <laughs> 17th chapter of Acts, 22nd verse. I have it. I have it. Amen. Read. For as I passed by and beheld your devotion. As I passed by and beheld your devotion, I found an altar with this inscription to what? To the unknown God. To the unknown God, whom therefore you what? Ignorantly worship. What? Him declare. I'm going to declare you. unto you the truth. Amen. You're speculating. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to open your eyes to the truth. Read. God that made the world. God. It made the world read, and all things there. And all things that are therein read. Seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth. Seeing that he is Lord of both heaven and earth. What? Well, if not in temples made with Don't hands. Don't dwell in temples made with hands. Neither is worship with men's hands. As though what? As though he needed anything. Read. Seeing he giveth to all life and Wait breath and all things. Now, if he can give you breath. What does he need with you? That's right. He give it to all what? Life. Life. And breath. And breath. And all things. And all things. Everything you get. All these blessings come from God. God. They come from God. From God. They come from God. From God. They come from God. From God. All these blessings come from God. God. That's right. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. See that he give it to all life and all things. Read. And he hath made of one blood He's all done nations. what? He's made done of, what? Made of one blood. Made of one blood. What? All nations of all men. All nations of men for to dwell on all the face of the one blood, church. Amen. Ain't nobody else can do that. So fixate, put your attention. We're drawing emphasis on the truth tonight. Mm -hmm. God lives in truth. He lives in judgment. He lives in righteousness. Amen. Watch this, read. And have determined the times. And he what? Appointed. Have he determined what? the times. He has determined the times before appointed and what? And the bounds of their and habitation. And the bounds of our habitation. When it's time for you to go, you're going. If it ain't time for you to go, you ain't going. That's right. Some years ago, back in the 60s, this guy ran up underneath the back of this school bus, knocked the back wheel right off the school bus, shaved the top of the car right down to the back seat. And he laying in there, still alive. Mm. Mm. It won't time for him to go. That's right. I hope he got his soul right. Whether he did or not, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But one thing is of a certainty, when you see something like that, that's the same thing with <clears throat> Daniel. Daniel was got on that motorcycle, mm -hmm. and Daniel would come out there and fell in that woods and went in that ditch. And he went right up underneath this big old log that was laying there, slid right up underneath that log. Mm. Want his time to go. Amen. Isn't that something? Wonderful. 
If he was upright and hit that log, he'd probably cut it right in half. Mm. God determines your time. He's the judge. He's the judge. Amen. Read. And have determined the times before appointed. Read. And the bounds of their habitation. The bounds of their habitation. Read. That they should seek that the Lord. That they should what? Seek the Lord. That they should what? Seek they should the fixate their attention on the truth. That's right. People way over there in left field somewhere. Yes. When it's right there in front of them. That's Jesus right. is the answer for the world today. today. I think Sister Marsh sang this song. Above him there's yeah, none of them. No, no. Jesus is the way. the way. I know you got questions in the corners of your mind. Traces yes. of discouragement and peace you cannot, you cannot find. find. But just in case you didn't know that every, every word, word of God is true. true. Just and as just as he has promised, Sister Kerrigan, he'll do it for you. Amen. So listen, that they should do what? Seek the Lord. Seek him, if haply they might feel after him and find him, though he be what? Not far from every one of us. You want to know how close God is, Brother Austin? You want to know how close God is? Put your, put your hand up in front of your face. Blow. You feel that, bro? That's how close God is. Amen. Watch this now. Watch this now. Watch it. I'm going to show you, brother Austin. I'm going to show you. For in him we what? We live. We live. And move. And move. And have our being. And have our being what? As certain also of your own poets have said, for we are also his offspring. That's true. So someone that great, someone that powerful, we are supposed to draw emphasis on how to focus on him. Amen. He give it to all. He give it to all. Hmm? Life, breath, I think that 25th verse, go back and read that 25th verse. Neither is worship with men's hands as though he need, if anything, see if he give it to all what? Life. Life. And breath. And breath. And all things. You got health and strength, food and shelter. Yes. You said, thank God for my parents providing for the family. What if the parent didn't have the health and the strength? I guess you would starve. Somebody else would have to take care of you. Amen. For in him we live and move and have our being, as certain also of your own poets have said, for we are also what? His offspring. His offspring. For as much then as we are the what? Offspring of, offspring of God. We ought not to think that the Godhead is like what? Gold or silver or what? Stone. Stone. Graven by art and man's device. Uh -uh. God is greater than that. Amen. The truth. Read. And the times of this ignorance. And the God times now. And the times of this ignorance. God winked at, but now commandeth all men to do what? Everywhere. Repent. To repent. Amen. All across the world. Everywhere. Repent. At one time, he winked at them. Well, right. they, you know, they, 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 they are who they are. Mm -hmm. Jesus ain't been on the scene yet. So yeah. I, I'm just going to excuse them now. I'm not going to judge them right now because of it. But I'm just going to excuse them. But right now, after this, mm -hmm. I'm telling them, repent. Read. Amen. Because, because what? Because have appointed a day. He have appointed a day when what? In the which he will judge the in world. In which he will judge the world in, in what? Righteousness. Righteousness. Amen. Man. The theme, truth, judgment, and righteousness. Read Identity. that again, brother, because he because have appointed a day in the which he will do what? Judge the world. Judge the world in what? Righteousness. Righteousness. Read. By that man whom he By ordained. By that man whom he have what? Ordained. And who do you think that man is? Jesus. Amen. Woo. Jesus. Amen. In that he has given him assurance what? Whereof he has given assurance unto all men and that he had done what? Raise him from the dead. And there ain't but one man that we know of that was raised from the dead. 
Amen. And that's Jesus. You heard, believe you heard the truth today. The Lord Amen. Says, you know, should know the truth. Truth should work. Make you free. Free from what? Whatever's holding you captive against your will. So may God bless you, church. Heaven have a smile upon you. <clears throat> we want to draw emphasis. Stress laid on a word or words to indicate special meaning. Special meaning. Jesus is our source. Amen. You can't get to God without him. So may God bless you. Heaven have a smile upon you. Let us continue to press on and hold on. Look up, look up, look up. But don't give up. Keep one another in prayer. That God may have his way. As the song said, let Jesus fix it for you. He knows just what to do. Whenever you pray, let him have his way. And he will fix it for you. Trade the service back over to the demons. Thank you.